Hi, it's Kelly here. In this video, I want to share with you first how to help lower the number of tornadoes or even the existence of a tornado in your area, as well as to slow down a hurricane. And then after that, I'll explain to you, if you're curious, why that works. But first, I want you to have the information if you just want to run with it and go ahead and do it. Um, hurricanes, I read this uh, from a, a research paper that was online I, I, a few years ago. And hurricanes are actually kind of like what I call ion sandwiches. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to uh, impact the ion sandwiches that are negatives, positives, negatives, positives that are forced together. So here's what you do. You get yourself a, a power drill. And oh, I should put my glasses back on because now I can't see where the wire is. <laughs> That's so funny. What did I do with it? Oh, here it is. Yeah. All right. Now this wire, it's a thin wire, thin gauge. The thicker, the better. And this one's already been twisted. Um, so, but yours, your wire is going to be untwisted when you start. You know, it's going to be on a spool. The lower the gauge, the thicker it is. And what you're going to do after you measure your ceiling fans, you're going to have a wire about twice as long. And then you're going to, you're going to bend it in half. All right. So now it's, you, you've got it going that way. And then you're going to take one end. I find that putting the looped end is, is the easier one. Stick it in your power drill. Let's see here. I have idiopathic uh, tremors from a back injury. Um, and then you just tighten it down, you know, and then you would hold the other end with a, with the pliers. And I don't have the pliers with me handy, but you're just going to gently turn it on. And it's going to twist as you do that. You're gentle is the key. Let me pull that out of here. And uh, you're going to let it twist. And then you're going to put that on your ceiling fans on top with uh, clear packing tape is strong enough to hold it. Um, I have another one here in case you don't have a ceiling fan. Uh, here's one that I made with a little hook on it. You see the hook? And then I used a, uh, a, a broom handle and wound it around because winding it around also increases its potency according to George Eslikovsky, who worked with uh, Nikola Tesla. And um, so having that, uh, that like that is, is a good thing. And then what you could do is hang this up uh, on something, maybe with a string or, or just use the hook itself. Say maybe you have a, a wardrobe hanger or something like that, you know, where you can hang these up. The more you make, the better. And you want to have them coil. Um, and then put a fan blowing on it. Oscillating is great because that'll give a variety to the movements. And the more variety you have, the more different frequencies you'll be generating. Now, I want you to know that this energy, these frequencies go a long way. So they actually can have an impact even though the storm is out far away. Now, we don't necessarily want to reduce the storm to nothing because, because that stirring power of the storm uh, cools down, say, the Gulf of Mexico. Right now, I think it's about 85 degrees, which is pretty doggone warm this time of year. Might be higher. Um, and the hot, hotter it is, the more potent it is for storms, for hurricanes. So, you know, if we, if we can bring it down to a tropical depression, that would be great because it would help to cool off the water. And, you you know, you're not, you're not going to have the tornadoes, etc. So anyway, that's... <coughs> Excuse me, I drank some coffee and I got some coffee grinds in my throat. Uh, grinds, grounds. Uh, so you, you can curl them like that if you want to hang them. Uh, this won't be nearly as potent, of course. You could also, by the way, one last way you can do this is you can take one of these after you've twisted it and make it into a ring. They don't necessarily have to connect. In fact, it's just fine that they don't connect. You can make a series of them, different sizes, and put them on a record player, tape them down a little piece of tape here and there, and turn it on the highest speed that you have. And that rotation will generate lots of frequencies, just like uh, the hydroelectric plant does. 
you know, the hydroelectric plant has spinning copper, and it, it has the ability to generate electricity, you know, 500 miles or more away. Uh, you won't be generating electricity because you don't have any magnets spinning here. All we want, though, is the, we don't want the electricity. We just want the frequencies to go out. So why does this work? Well, as I mentioned before, hurricanes are ion sandwiches. Tornadoes are the same. They have, and that's what gives them their power because they've got negatives and positives, or negative, a line of negatives and a line of positives, which is very unnatural for them to be that way. And so it causes a lot of turbulence, you see? And so copper wire, when it's untwisted, it has the energy going in one direction. And when you bend it in half and twist it, now the, that the, the, the directions have been changed into in practically an infinite number of uh, opposite directions connected to each other. So now you're generating frequencies. And by rotating it, you, you're creating uh, fractal frequencies. Fractal means uh, irregularly sized, like one mountain top is is uh, taller or shorter than the next one that's next to it, et cetera, et cetera. Just like the sun puts out fractal frequencies, friendly frequencies. So, um, so you've got you've got these frequencies from the storm, which are there and they're causing this stirring motion, swirling, swirling, swirling. So the objective is, is by creating the frequencies, you're also creating negative ions, and it impacts the storm. It'll, it'll raise it up a bit, and it'll slow it down. When I was living in Panama City, we got hit by a five, Michael, Hurricane Michael, and my neighbor, who had been a roofer for five years, said that our roofs would not withstand a three. In other words, it would withstand a two, but not a three, not a four, not a five. Well, everybody in our block kept the roofs because I was doing stuff like this. The other apartment complexes that in the area with the same identical roofs, they were had 100% eviction rates. So I know that this works. <laughs> so try it. And, and people tell me, one person, excuse me, I think I'm going to cough. <coughs> um, one person wrote to me recently and said that they and their roommates were getting along better as soon as they turned it on. And, and people tell me that they sleep better and they feel more energized. So keep it running afterwards. Let it run all the time because, because uh, you know, we're, we're impacted by a lot of repeating frequencies from like the smart meters on our homes. I call them smart beaters. Um, and, and you know, from top cell, cell mass, cell towers, etc. So try it out, see if you like it, share this as much as you can. And uh, that way we can have a lot milder storms. It's certainly better to have a tropical depression coming through than a, than a, you know, possibly a major hurricane. We've had quite a few of those in the last several years, more than average, much more than average. So go ahead and do that and uh, have fun. Let, let me know. Uh, leave a comment. We love your comments and uh, let us know how, how you feel. You know, when you turn it on, take a note of how you're, how you're feeling mentally and emotionally and then turn it on and assess it again within, you know, 10 seconds and see if you don't notice a difference. And then see if you don't notice a difference the next morning when you wake up. Uh, so that's it for now. You take care and God bless.